You're listening to the Hour of the Time. I'm William Cooper. And I'm Carolyn Nelson. And I'm Carolyn Nelson. And we'll get it together sooner or later here, folks. Well, we were supposed to have a metal report from uh, Gene Miller, but he hasn't called, so we're going to go right into the program, and uh, I guess he'll have to do it on this hour tomorrow night. Right off the bat, I want to read a letter here from uh, a listener named John who sent the reply from the office of Arlen Specter, United States Senator for Pennsylvania. Dear Mr. John, thank you for contacting my office regarding your request for Public Law 87-297. In an effort to be as helpful as possible, I have contacted the Senate document room who informs me that Public Law 87-297 is currently out of stock with no authority to reprint. Again, thank you for contacting me. Please let me know if I can be of further assistance on this or any other matter of concern. Sincerely, Arlen Specter. And uh, John encloses a little note at the bottom. Dear Bill, this is the reply I received from the Specter staff to my request for Public Law 87-297 and State Department Paper Number 7277. I called Washington and told them that 87297 can be found on page 652 of Volume 9 of Title 22, United States Code 1988 edition. I thank you for providing this information. I went on to inform the Specter staff that as a citizen I am entitled to be allowed to learn the law and requested that they make a photocopy of the page specified and to send that photocopy of 87-297 to my location. I have received a copy of the booklet State Department paper number 7277 from the John Birch Society. It is exactly what you said it was, a written plan to disarm America. You have my permission to quote from these letters. God bless you, John. So folks... Don't let them get away with it. You see, since we ran the treason series, they have been telling you that the public laws are out of print and no longer available, and that is a blatant lie. Not only are they in print and available to all senators and congressmen in Washington, D.C., the Justice Department, the President of the United States, the Library of Congress, and every library in this country. So don't let these scumbag, creepo, treasonous traitors get away with it. Call them on it just like John did and make sure that you force their hand every single time. Otherwise they will ride right over you. In the earlier hour of the hour of the time we began a new series on the Rose Cross College and I quoted verbatim from a book entitled The Rose Cross College edited by R. Swineburn Clymer copyrighted 1917. A resume of the teachings and proceedings of the Rose Cross College during its session held in the month of October 1916 on the 400th anniversary of the founding of the Order. The Imperialistic Council and Venerable Order of the Magi, its instructions in the official degree, Priests of Melchizedek, the Knights of Chivalry, and Order of the Holy Grail. So folks, if you missed that hour, make sure that you order the tape. For non kaji members, tapes are $8 postpaid. For kaji members, they're $6 postpaid. You may order tapes by sending your money to William Cooper, P.O. Box 1420, Sholo, spelled S-H-O-W-L-O-W, Arizona, 85901. That's P.O. Box 1420. 
520 Sholo, Arizona 85901. In the beginning of this book, it described the initiation <laughs> in the grove of Osiris and uh, many other things, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, you need to know. The ancient degrees of Osiris were conferred upon the delegates during that period of time in 1916 and uh, you know I put out some hints for you people to be examining the Greitz spike training tape that there was some symbolism there some of you did most of you as usual stayed on your butts and didn't do anything and many of you have been sucked in by Mr. Trojan Horse himself Lieutenant Colonel James Bobo Gritz if you look real closely at his spike training literature and his spike training video, you will see that spike is spelled S P obelisk K E. S P obelisk K E. Now, for those of you who don't know what that means, S P penis of Osiris K E. He's playing you for a fool, and again, just like all the others, he is laughing at you. A day and a half spike training, uh huh and he teaches you how to fight with a double-edged blade and tells you that you are now a member of Delta Force. Let me read to you from a dictionary of Freemasonry exactly what Delta means and during a later program ladies and gentlemen we will play a tape, a briefing tape for high-ranking officers in the United States Army on the 1st Earth Battalion which describes again what Task Force Delta is really all about. Delta, the name of the fourth letter of the Greek alphabet. In form it is a triangle and was considered by the ancient Egyptians a symbol of fire, and also of God. In the Scottish and French systems, and also that of the Knights Templar, the triangle or Delta is a symbol of the unspeakable name. And we go back a little further, ladies and gentlemen. I N R I. Jesus, Nazarenus Rex Udiorum, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews, the inscription which was placed upon the cross of the Savior. In the Philosophical Lodge, they represent fire, salt, sulfur, and mercury. In the system of the Rosicrucians, they had a similar use. Igne natura renovature integra meaning literally by fire nature is perfectly renewed this idea is also found in the degree of nights adepts of the eagle are of the sun remember fires connected to delta remember that they burn their enemies to purify the soul so that the enemies will not come back after them don't go away you you my dear sheeple have an awful lot to learn Some say love. 